What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be doing a deep dive on the mesh concept and I'm going to be breaking down the basics of the play and then over the course of the next couple of videos, we're going to be doing a series on mesh tags. So this is a deep dive into the mesh concept. The reason why I want to do this is because this concept is such a good passing concept for you, whether you be whether you're playing Madden 21 or Madden 22. This is going to work in Madden 28, right? It's going to work in every Madden every single year. So I want to go over this while we're in the off season right now, preparing and kind of going through a training camp um, for our preparations for Madden 22 for the launch. And so uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. My name is Cody. I do videos every day that can help you get better at Madden. And so if you want to get better at the game, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button. We do tutorials, like I said, just like this every single day that can help you get better at this game. And what I like about this is the mesh concept is this is an air raid staple. So I want to give kind of a little bit of a brief overview of what the concept is. And then we're going to talk about why it is so good. Now I'm in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. If you want to get my entire air raid offensive guide, I'm a big fan of the air raid offense and kind of the principles behind it. And I actually wrote uh, an entire air raid offensive guide with complete tutorials of how to run this in Madden. So if you want to get that offense, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. This offense is going to be really, really, really good in Madden 22. It was also really good in Madden 21. All right, so let's talk about this. So um, we're going to talk about this. So if I go to concept here and I look at the mesh concept, you're going to see that this is what the mesh concept is. It says that two receivers are running crossing routes from opposite directions. So as you see here, things like cross drag, mesh dig, mesh spot. You might see this very popular play. Mesh spot is a really good play. Uh, mesh, mesh, mesh corner, um, you know, all of these different kind of concepts. And so we're just going to be talking about the mesh play. And to do this, I think it actually is best to start in two by two. And then we're going to work to three by one. So I'm going to go ahead and put the mesh in my audibles here. As you can see, this mesh from three by one gun tray open. I've got the mesh play. And what's really cool about the mesh is you can actually create this concept for pretty much anything. I love to use Hot Route Master when I use this offense. And the reason why is because it allows me to create different route combos on the field. But uh, I'm going to give you, a, like I said, just a brief overview. So real quick, this is how the original mesh route was actually designed. As you see here, I've got these routes. So basically the real core uh, principle, first and foremost, is that the biggest disclaimer that I need to tell you about mesh is mesh was originally called 92. It was not called mesh. What I mean by that is the mesh route, meaning the two crossing drags, that's only part of the play. And it's actually not even the most important part of the play. It's not even the first read on the play. The first read on the play is actually this receiver on the outside on the right, this guy right here, Brown. And that's why you see that he is highlighted in red as the primary receiver, because in the mesh concept, whenever you're running this 92 or this mesh play, um, really what you're trying to do is you're trying to play pitch and catch with this outside receiver on the right. What route can you run that is gonna get him open? You could run a corner route, as you see right here. You could run a post route, okay? I could run a curl, I could run a dig, I could run a 10 yard capped out route, I could run a curl, I could run all kinds of things. I could run a C route and it would still be mesh, okay? Um, that's what I like about this concept or this play is that it's really designed to play pitch and catch with the outside guy. And so we're using these uh, mesh routes to basically force the defense to kind of draw in the middle of the field so that we can then throw outside the defense. That's the first big point about mesh. So you can really kind of do whatever you want to do um, as far as like from a concept perspective. And typically what we're going to be doing out of the mesh is we're going to be stretching the defense horizontally. So uh, really quick here, if I just go to a standard, let's just say I just run a standard cover three, just like this right here. And we're going to use kind of the, the Madden, you know, cover three Mabel, just like this. And I just want to show you what this is going to look like. So against zone, these mesh routes are going to settle up in noose. Okay, they're going to settle up in grass. They're going to find open grass and they're going to settle up. So you see here, this read zone, they're going to settle up and then I can throw the ball and get a field. Now, one of the things that's really important to understand about these mesh routes is where they actually settle up on. In Madden, they're going to settle up basically on the tackle. So on either side, you're going to see. So if I snap this ball again, if you just watch where they're going to settle up here, look at where triangles, see how they settle up kind of just outside the tackle box. 
that's a really unique area of the field, and there's not a lot of yellow zones that are going to be able to guard that. Yellow zones are going to be more directed to the middle of the field. These meshes are going to kind of get into the open area of the grass, okay? Now, against man-to-man, -man, these routes are taught or t um, coached to continue to run. This phrase of run against man, sit against zone is really important in the mesh concept. So what you'll see here is if I wait on these routes, you see that the man read, they keep running across. Really, really important point. Now, the biggest thing where this is a little bit of a difference is when the defense goes to something like a cover four match defense. So if we go to a cover four match defense, you're going to see here that these uh, routes, if you call cover four, they're going to keep running. And honestly, that's not exactly great for the concept because there's a difference between cover four match and cover four drop zone. What you just saw was cover four drop zone. Cover four match, they would trail them and cover four drop, they're just gonna kind of pan out just like that. So let me show you what I mean. So if I go to cover four and I put this guy in a zone, let's just say I put him in a hard flat and a hard flat. I want you to watch how this works. You see these mesh routes run and they see how they continue to run to the sideline just because the coding of the game has said, this is a cover four defense, you're gonna to continue to run across. So what we the, the reason why I'm going over this is because this is an important thing to understand. This settle up a noose um, piece of the puzzle is really an important piece because it's the only piece that you can get out of the actual mesh um, concept when you come out in the Arizona playbook. Because if I were to go to, let's say I go to this play, um, let's say that I go to, um, let's just say I go to something like this. This is a very popular play, okay? So if I go to that, now I'm just in drags. Now they're not gonna settle up in zone and now they might as well just be flat routes. I could also do something like this if I wanted to, but if they're a man, I don't get the man, I don't get the crossers against man. So the reason the mesh route is so good is it's a man in a zone killer within one play, within one route, okay? And so uh, that's one of the reasons why we really like it. Now this route to the circle receiver, um, I just wanna spend just a, a little bit of a moment on here. These corner routes are really, really good. Um, I think most people underestimate this route. This was not very good at the beginning of the year, just due to the fact that there was a lot better uh, man coverage. Man coverage was a lot better, so man coverage could, could basically completely bag this route. Now you'll see that it's pretty good. You see how it just gets to the sideline like that relatively easily. Now, one thing I would tell you is in Madden, this is ha this happens from this happens every single year that I've ever played Madden. There are certain routes that are more effective than other years. So in this year's game, one of the most effective routes in the entire game this year is a simple curl route to the outside circle receiver. So if I wanted to, I could do this. I could do a curl to flat concept. And now what you see, see how that back just kind of stretches the zone? And now look what I got. I got a nice little dot over the top of that zone with the um, circle receiver. So you can use curl routes, out routes, corner routes, post routes. Those are all things that you can tag out of the mesh. Now, for just a second, I want to um, I want to show you the, the difference between the way that how Mummy teaches the mesh concept out of two by two and the way Mike Leach teaches the mess concept out of two by two. So what you're seeing right here, this is the Mike Leach version. And really this right here is more of the Mike Leach version. I've got two outs. This is kind of what Mike Leach would do. And he would probably honestly block and release the tail back out just like this. And the reason why he does this is because he likes to have those capped outs. Now, the reason that I personally don't like that is because this is what this creates. When you think about the quarterback, I want every route to matter. And so when I have two outs, they're going to break open at the same time. I can't, I can't hit both of them. So what I would rather do is maybe put a curl on the backside or a dig on the backside or a skinny post on the backside. Something on that backside. So my play side, now I still have my out. I'm still going out to swing to mesh. Out to swing to mesh, right? Just like this, I get a mesh read and I can throw it into that little window. But whenever I have two out routes, then basically I'm looking at both outs at the same time, which is really hard. It's really a, a hard read for me. It's why I don't like to do it. And I just don't think you can work both sides at the same time. I think you can work one side. And really this backside is really meant to just pull zone coverage. 
um, which I think there's better routes that you can use to do that. I still think you can pull zone coverage with a curl. I think you can pull zone coverage with anything. It's just a matter of the fact that they know there's a receiver in that area, so they're going to go out there anyway naturally. So as you can see right there. Okay? So that's a little bit about um, the way Leach runs it. How does How Mummy run it? Well, the way How Mummy runs a little bit differently. Um, how Mummy likes to do this. He likes to put a flat to that slot on the left and a and then the mesh is coming from the square receiver. Now, this is all well and good. The problem in Madden is you can't get this concept um, because they can't settle it up. I'm hot routing the drag, unfortunately. Now, what I will give the credit to how Mummy on is this concept makes a little bit more sense. And the reason why is because of this. If you've got a Mabel coverage, they're really pushing you to the flat. They're really putting a lot of people in coverage. This flat can take so many zones with him that it's going to look at, look at this opening right here, right there. Look at that little pocket that you can throw that route into. Um, that's with heavy underneath coverage. That's what dropping nine people into coverage. So if you get a blitz off that side, let's say you get a blitz, what this flat does a good job of is he pulls, he's a nice little hot read. See right there, I could make a quick one, two read between that flat and the mesh or in the, in the, in the crosser. So it, it makes that route a little bit better. I would say it improves the spacing a little bit, but overall, I wouldn't say it's necessarily in Madden a ton better. It might be a little bit better in real life. And the biggest reason also why is where they actually mesh. You'll see that the X is gonna mesh right in the middle of the field, and then you can make your throw. So that's another reason why How Mummy likes that is because the spacing of the mesh allows that to be a massive advantage. So that's kind of the basics of the mesh concept. Um, I want to talk just briefly about the mesh out of three by one, and I just want to uh, sprinkle this or hit on it a little bit. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because I actually think this is the best way to run the mesh in Madden. This is the best representation of what a mesh play is going to do in Madden because it encompasses everything into one cohesive read for your quarterback. And what I like about this is all we're doing is we're just putting the, the – we really don't have to make an adjustment. That's why I love this play. Um, you don't have to make really an adjustment at all. The cool part about these mesh routes is once they settle up, feel free to playmaker them up. If, they do, if they're not open, then just playmaker them up. And uh, as you can see, you're going to be able to get easy yardage against you know pretty much anything the opponent is going to do to you. So this is the mesh concept. And out of three by one, um, you actually, what you see oftentimes is you see this post out combination. Um, another thing that you could see if you if you if you know if you ran this is you might see the X be on a flat route, and then you might see something like you know this get a little bit of a deeper mesh. Um, you're still basically playing pitch and catch with circle, but you you might get that flat route there. That's again we're just clearing space uh, to throw the mesh. I don't think it makes that much sense to do that in Madden, but in the real life that's kind of how how Mummy runs. That's the difference between the two of them. So. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you want to get the air raid offense, it's in the description. But this is the mesh concept, how you can run it out of 3 by one and 2 by 2 kind of the basics of it. And we're going to talk in the next couple videos about how you can, uh, with tags, really make this play, I think, a really powerful concept for your offense.